I'm walking down Young Street, I see some funny people who have the nerve to point the finger at me. A new Heritage Minute focuses on 1960s transgender soul singer Jackie Shane. It's the latest minute, long short, celebrating influential Canadian figures. Shane worked in the Canadian R&B scene, contributing to the Toronto Sound, a version of electric soul in the early 1960s. And she was a trans pioneer, performing on stage as an androgynous man, but in her private life, came out as trans to her mother when she was 13 years old. Raven Wings plays Jackie Shane in the Heritage Minute. She says it was an incredible experience. It was powerful and it was difficult too. Um, I had to put myself emotionally in, in sort of her body. In some of the scenes, there's a scene where we're walking outside and um, we're getting sneers and looks and thinking about what we weren't allowed to do as, as Black folks, one, and then as especially as a Black trans woman in the 60s and how she had to cover things and reveal things. And there was so much um, danger. You know, there's still a lot of it, but there, but there was so much more in that time period. It was so much more risky. Um, and I just had a different kind of found, newfound respect for um, who she was and how she did it. Um, and for this, I really wanted to, as an artist, like let Raven leave the chat, so to speak, and just let Jackie take over. So when it came to like makeup and hair, costume, all that kind of stuff, um, I didn't look at any of it. I let. All the geniuses be the geniuses, and if they were happy, I went with it. And I didn't really look at myself in the mirror because as a trans woman, every time I look in the mirror, I want to see and find myself. And I think that would have gone against um, what I wanted to do for her. So um, it was great. It was a beautiful role. Um, I'm just still so honored. Jackie Shane died three years ago at 78, shortly after her album Any Other Way was nominated for the Best Historical Album at the Grammys.